Hello, and welcome to another Porter's Transformers review. Today we're going to be looking at the last Dark of the Moon figure that I have, Transformers Dark of the Moon Voyager Class Shockwave here. Um, this is the, uh, the, the newer thing. I mean, him and Crane Case I got at the same time today, and I got um, the Legends or Legion Class Crane Case and Cyberverse Commander um, Sentinel Prime. You see them too. Um, yesterday, when the line on on the 16th when they came out, and I got these two um, earlier today, and I just finished a review of him. Um, so uh, yeah, time for some shockwave. Uh, the funny thing about this, uh, the packaging, um, is that on the back he's blue. Yeah, he's actually purple, but on the back he's blue. It's kind of funny. Yeah, actually, he looks good in blue, actually. I kind of like the figure in blue. So if they ever repainted him into blue, I might actually get that, because that actually doesn't look too bad. Although, Soundwave is never blue. Or, Shockwave is never blue. I keep getting the two mixed up, because uh, the only difference between the names is uh, a few letters. And, uh, and these boxes are starting to get weird for me. Uh, I mean, like... You see how you see how these open of the Central Prime, the Commander, Cyberverse, and then the Legion Cast Crane case. They're all kind of strange. And now the Voyager box has a short bio right here, the back which is just product shots, and the uh, Mech Tech uh, weapon, the Mech Tech Battle Cannon converts to Particle Wave Blaster. As you can see here, so here's his ground assault mode. It's kind of like a tank assault. Cybertronian vehicle, I guess. And displaying some mech tech stats, and then the figure here. And try me. And the funny thing is, like, usually try me is for electronics, but, like, his is just for his mech tech to go back and forth. But I already removed that, so I, let's go ahead and uh, move him out of this box. And I do like the background of this box, too. Really cool. I'm actually gonna keep the background. Uh, take this out and cut all on the corners, make it flat, and put it as a backdrop for the Dark of the Moon shelf. Uh, for the kind of movie stuff, when all my movie stuff gets here eventually. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have very many movie figures here. But um, yeah. So yeah, give me a few seconds here to get him. All uh, already here for. So I gotta plug in his uh, hose, and I'll get to that here in a second. Okay, so here you have uh, Transformers: Dark of the Moon Voyager Class Shockwave here, and he is really cool. Um, I haven't, you know, the movie doesn't come out till like about July, so um, let's see how he does in the movie. But I've always, you know. Or he's wanted a really good shockwave, and as a standalone figure, this is a very, uh, very cool figure. Um, he has a few mech tech things going on here. He's got this, uh, little mech tech blade like weapon here. It's pretty cool. I like it. You can, um, and he's covered with mech tech ports. You can put it on the top of, on the front of his gun here. Right here, you can give him a super awesome giant, humongous, well, Mech Tech Cannon with a bayonet, but and it is in its lock position. If you, uh, as you can see, you just uh, push this uh, tab forward, and these blasters come out. So you can have them all like kind of fun. I like messing with it. Um, it's actually this. This isn't. This is probably my favorite Mech Tech weapon of all. Um, and it's cool, uh, you can put it on his hand here, and you can, he does have two hands. You can fold that in and put it in, and he does have his hose, which is pretty cool, just like in G1. Um, and here, and it's just soft rubber, but it, I wish it was a little longer, because uh, it actually is supposed to go in um, the Magtech port um, right right there, and uh, peg into the Magtech port on the side of the gun. Uh, right in there. I don't know if you can see. And that, that hole right there. 
but uh, it's too long you can't really get them in a good pose with it so I usually just uh, put it in put, put it in the ones on the back of the shoulders like that one and uh, put it in the gun but he's got a couple of them and I really like it and his backpack's not actually transformed right these are supposed to be tabbed into this one Okay. They're all really cool. I don't usually start in uh, robot mode, but because um, he is packaged in robot mode, I guess I will. Um, he has awesome, awesome light piping over his head skull. As you can see, it just glows with fury. It's a really nice uh, head skull. But it's, you know, it's good. You know, all, you look and you can look at this figure and you can say, "Hey, this looks like Shockwave." I mean, it's really cool. I really like this figure. Purple is my favorite color as well, so that kind of helps. Um, he only has one Decepticon symbol, and it's on the top of his uh, mech tech weapon there. Uh, unplug this, and this has a you know normal mech tech port, and there's one on each arm. Fold in his hand, and he can't hold it in his hand as well. And there's a clip point right here, and oh, mech tech. Um, and there's also clip points on his feet that end up in. Uh, vehicle mode on the sides. Articulation uh, head goes full 360 degrees. The arms have a great range of motion. Um, you know, you can get in some pretty crazy poses. Ay! He's like, hey, Megatron! Hey, how's it going? It's been a while. No. Um, he's got an uh, outward movement, full 360. Full 360 upper part of the bicep, my elbow joint right here, and do transformation because these uh, hands are fo fold in there. They kind of have a little, so you can be like, come on, bring it. But they're all pretty cool. He had no waist joint, just have a forward and back, you know, ratchet joints at the sides, full 360, single joint here. Um, if you would tab that part out right there. You can uh, have a double joint right there, and basically that's about it. Uh, transforming is fairly easy for in the hands as so. You want to turn the head backwards, and uh, one thing I almost forgot to mention, I like the backpack, the way the wheels go in this piece here. It kind of looks like a gas tank to plug in his, um, like an Energon fuel pack, you know what I'm talking about, like a backpack with Energon ammo in it for his gun, gun, because he has, um, because he has his hose here. And there is, like, I, I didn't make a fan-made gun mode, I'll show that off in, an, in an, its own review, or not review, just like, hey look, look what I did, that's it. Um, but I'm not going to show it here because I only have like five minutes left. Uh, do it's some pig. Take these and fold this up. Then fold this down. It's fairly easy to transform and then fold it back like so. Keep that like that. You wanna first thing you wanna do here is you want to fold down the kneecaps, unpeg the foot. Actually you want you wanna unpeg the foot first and plug in the foot and then pop in the kneecaps, they pop in here. Think, no, wait, no, I was right. No, it's the other way. Okay. Yeah, I was right, it was the other way. And then type in there. And then take its heel sprues and fold them in. Okay. And then, uh, I'll unpeg his, uh, his chest there from those two mech type points. And, uh, unpeg these and fold them here. We'll keep the arms, get them in position. Okay, you want to fold this, make sure this is up here like this. Then you want to fold the feet out so that the purple and the front parts where the purple, that purple piece there is, is facing inside. And they just uh, collapse in here. Make sure this actually is uh, folded. Here. And now there is two tabs where the chest went that after you unfold these they are in. You can't really see it too well. 
Actually, no, here we go. Uh, there's a hole on each side, and then, uh, as you know, there's two pegs there. You just plug that in like so. And then there's these little rectangles on here, tabs that tab into the sides of the uh, rear treads. Uh, so that's all just a matter of lining it up and uh, folding everything in. There's a couple tabs. There's a tab here and there's tabs here. Um, just gonna tab everything in. I'm nice and snug there. It's a lot of tabs though. Um, I don't know if I'm showing it off very well. And you tab each of these in. Make sure this chest piece is down. And then you want to uh, fold these all the way up here. And they tab in here. And then um, pretty much can tab this in as well. And there you have it. Um, he's in uh, Shockwave. Is in his vehicle mode. Uh, it's pretty cool. I really like it. Actually, I like it more than I thought it would. Um, sure beats kind of kind of beats Megatron's just a little bit. Just it, it looks more like a tank. It kind of reminds me of something from Beast Machines. Can't okay, battle charge or whatever his name is. But uh, you can take the Meg Tech weapon here and plug it in. Uh, plug the blade in on the side here, and then plug the hose wherever you want. I only have two minutes left, so pardon me if I'm kind of rushing this, as you can see. And he actually rolls really well. Um, he's got, you know, two little wheels on here, and then these uh, larger wheels that spin, so he rolls fairly well, actually. And uh, the mech tech weapon actually works a little bit better. You just gotta make sure you put the hose in a way so uh, it can uh, I have fun with that. I'm sorry. No, but it's really cool. A size comparison, real quick. Here he is with a Dialux class uh, hunt for the septic on sidearm sideswipe. They're not really all that in scale, but um, he's more in scale actually with uh, Battle Blaze Ultimus Prime here, which I don't have transfer well because he takes me a, a good 15 minutes. But uh, yeah, um, I I do have more figures from the movie. Just not uh, all I have is you know him, him, uh, Sideswipe and Prime back there at the moment here, but I do have. M most, if not all of the characters from the previous two movies, so. Well, thanks guys for watching, and I got like 50 seconds left, so. Uh, stay tuned for my next reviews, man, and uh, yeah, catch you guys later. Peace.